हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉपन स्कीम ऑफ क्लाइमेट क्लासिफिकेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जोन ए ट्रॉपिकल ह्यूमिड जोन जोन बी एरिड और ड्राई जोन देन जोन सी वार्म और माइल्ड टेम्परेट जोन जोन डी कॉन्टिनेंटल जोन जोन ई पोलर जोन एंड लास्टली वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द लिमिटेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक द कॉपन क्लाइमेट क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम इज डेवलप्ड बाय व्लादिमिर कॉपन अ जर्मन क्लाइमेटोलॉजिस्ट एंड बॉटनिस्ट टूवर्ड्स द लेट नाइनटीन सेंचुरी कॉपन सिस्टम क्लासिफाइज द वर्ल्ड इन टू फाइव प्राइमरी क्लाइमेट जोन मेनली डिटरमाइंड बाय टेम्परेचर These zones are denoted as A tropical or equatorial B arid or dry C warm temperature D continental and E polar Each zone is represented by different colors on Köppen's maps aiding in easy identification For instance tropical zones are typically shown in blue arid zones in shades of red and orange temperate zones in green continental zones in purple and light blue and polar zones in grey these climate zones are further divided into sub categories based on specific criteria like temperature variance and dryness levels now let's discuss about zone a tropical humid zone Zone A in the Köppen climate classification system is designated as the tropical or equatorial zone. This zone is characterized by specific climatic conditions that are distinctive to regions situated near the equator. This zone experiences consistently high temperatures throughout the year with the monthly average rarely falling below 18 degrees Celsius. The diurnal temperature range Difference between day and night is often more significant than the annual temperature range. Areas in zone A typically receive a high amount of rainfall. Subdivisions based on precipitation are AF tropical wet climate. This subtype experiences no real dry season with significant rainfall occurring every month. AM tropical monsoon climate. characterized by a short dry season but still receives a significant amount of annual rainfall especially during the monsoon and aw tropical wet and dry climate known for a more pronounced dry season typically occurring in the winter months now let's discuss about zone b arid or dry zone zone b in the koppen climate classification system is known as the arid or dry zone The most defining characteristic of zone B is its low level of precipitation. Due to the generally high temperatures, the rate of evaporation often exceeds the rate of precipitation, contributing to the dryness of the region. Subdivisions based on aridity are BWH subtropical desert climate. This category is further divided into BWK cold desert and BWH that is hot desert. Cold deserts can experience more extreme temperature fluctuations between day and night and between seasons and hot deserts more common have extremely high temperatures during the day and cooler nights BSH subtropical steppe climate similarly divided into BSK cold steppe and BSH hot steppe these areas receive slightly more precipitation than true deserts allowing for more vegetation typically grasslands or shrublands Plants are often drought resistant, able to store water or have deep root systems. The Gobi Desert in Mongolia, for example, experiences very cold winters, classifying it as a cold desert. Arid zones are commonly found at the western edges of continents and in the interiors of large land masses, often at latitudes of about 15 to 30 degrees in both hemispheres. Zone C warm or mild temperate zone Zone C in the Köppen climate classification system is referred to as the warm or mild temperate zone This zone is characterized by moderate temperatures typically with distinct seasons but without the extreme cold found in continental zone D or polar that is zone E climates 
Zone C climates generally have warmer the coldest month averages above minus 3 degrees Celsius but below 18 degrees Celsius and the warmest month averages above 10 degrees Celsius. Subdivisions based on precipitation and temperature are CFA, CWA, humid subtropical climate. Characterized by hot summers or warm summers with a significant monsoon rainfall. These areas generally have no dry season and winters are mild. CSB, CSC, Mediterranean climate. Known for warm to hot, dry summers and mild to cool, wet winters. The dry summer is a defining characteristic. CFB, CFC, Marine West Coast climate. These climates have relatively even precipitation throughout the year with mild summers and cool but not cold winters. The warm mild temperate zone supports a wide variety of vegetation including deciduous forest, Mediterranean scrub and mixed forest. Zone C is one of the most hospitable climates for human habitation supporting some of the world's densest populations and major cities. These climates are typically found on the western and eastern margins of continents, generally between the latitudes of 30 degree to 60 degree. Zone D, continental or cold snow faucet zone. Zone D in the Köppen climate classification system is known as the continental zone. Zone D experiences large temperature differences throughout the year. Summers are warm or hot while winters are cold, often with snow. A defining characteristic of this zone is that the coldest month has an average temperature below minus 3 degrees Celsius. Subdivisions based on seasonal precipitation and temperature are DF, cold climate with humid winter and DW, cold climate with dry winter. Primarily consisting of deciduous and coniferous forest. The colder subarctic regions are dominated by taiga or boreal forest. Typically found in the interior and east coast regions of North America and Eurasia, away from the moderating influence of large bodies of water. Zone E, Polar Zone Zone E in the Köppen climate classification system is the polar zone, characterized by extremely cold temperatures throughout the year. The warmest month has an average temperature below 10 degrees Celsius creating a frigid environment year-round. Subdivisions are ET, tundra climate. The warmer part of the polar zone where the temperature in the warmest month is between 0 degrees Celsius and 10 degrees Celsius. This zone supports some vegetation like mosses, lichens and dwarf shrubs. EF, ice cap climate. The coldest climate with temperatures rarely rising above freezing. It's mostly covered with ice and snow year-round with little to no vegetation. Although these areas are cold, they receive relatively little snowfall compared to their colder temperatures, often classified as cold deserts. Found in the polar regions, including the Arctic Circle and Antarctica, and on some high mountain peaks. Now lastly, moving on to the limitations. Koppen ignored cloud cover, intensity of precipitation, humidity, and daily temperature extremes that make local weather and climate distinct. Koppen ignored the effect of extreme events such as drought or an unusual cold spell. Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following statements regarding the Koppen climate classification system. 1. It categorizes Earth's climate into five major zones. 2. Zone D is known as the polar zone with constant freezing temperatures. 3. Zone A represents tropical or equatorial climates with high year-round temperatures. How many of the above statements are correct? None. Only statements 1 and 3. Only statements 2 and 3. Or all statements. You can send the answer of this question in the comment section. And now mains question. Now before moving on to the mains question. We are excited to share with you that Team Drishti is offering 20% to 50% discount on all its online, pen drive and test series courses. To avail this discount, click on the link given in the description below. And now note down the mains based question. Analyze how the Köppen climate classification system helps in understanding the relationship between climate patterns and vegetation types around the world. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.
For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.